My name is Kyrie Deloach, and today I'm going to be going over some of my questions from my practice. We did a quick fire, and we set the timer for five minutes, and basically we had to like write a bunch of questions that pertain to our practice and just have like a stream of questions. So these were my questions. And I came up with 16. So looking at my questions, I was trying to think what kind of categories and patterns I found within my questions. Most of them are about school or attendance or residence. As a residence hall manager, a lot of things are put on us as having access to students most of the time that especially professors and staff don't usually have. We have way more interactions with them in their own space. So a lot of the things are put on us to fix or solve and it can be a lot of pressure. And so when I was writing out these questions, I was definitely feeling that pressure. The first way that I want to kind of categorize my work is I'm going to split it in half and we're going to have how questions over here and we're going to put our why questions over here. Through this I realized I have 11 how questions, 3 why questions, I had to create another category of who or whose basically why can't my students handle confrontation can also be turned into a how question of how can we teach students not to fear conflict i feel like this is pretty similar to this question because conflict and confrontation often go hand in hand getting to the root is important but i think figuring out how what we can do to actually fix it is pretty important to me so I think that's why I have so many how questions. Another way that I feel like I can organize my stuff is by things I have to do with students and things I have to do with me. These are more centered towards me and personal growth such as like my role, how I can make others take me more seriously, uh, professors want to collaborate with me and then how can I get people to see past my gender and listen to me as a human so these are more me centered these ones I say I would say are more student centered I was trying to think of a third way to organize my questions and I thought maybe I could do questions that are for my school in general my institution and then questions that are for other people and who are those questions for so that's my institution as far as me so then over here I would say me or my department some of them were kind of in between so I put them in the middle since asking these questions it's made me look at my position a lot differently and it is I'm definitely going to continue asking questions. I may not have all the answers, but it's a good start to ask questions. And I'm excited to see where this will go.